Okay, here we go again. So today I'm going to do a windshield coating or a windshield sealant. Um, it's advertised as a, oh, it's just advertised as force field windshield protection magic kit. They load this up and look, you can see the video. I'm going to um, try to link the video, this video that they made, which has all kinds of editing in it. It's pretty cool. It's it's like 36 seconds long. Um, probably way better than what I'm going to do right here um, because of the editing. They put some cool graphics in there and stuff. It's really neat. I don't edit, so what I'm going to do though is open the kit, show you guys what comes with it. Um, I will put the website in the description. I have no discounts for you guys. I can't save you any money on it. Uh, one thing and one reason I picked this one like many of the things that I bring into this channel is I like to do different stuff that's not always run of the mill. I do run of the mill stuff, yes, obviously, but once in a while, something will catch my eye like this. I was looking up anti-fog stuff for a coworker and I came across this and they have an anti-fog kit that they sell. They also sell lens wipes um, for glasses, screen wipes, glass cleaner, they have everything you need. Yes, let's see. Made in America, can you see that? Made in America. Made in Detroit. Right there, Detroit. So I believe it's made in America, it says. Yeah, I'm uh, half blind at 51. Yes. I believe this is made in America. It just has an American flag and says Detroit. So it leads me to believe made in America. <clears throat> I would use my cheaters right now, but let's not make a five or 10 minute video 20. Let's just do this. Let me see here. Let's see, let's see, I'll squintage. Oh my God. Oh, this says formulated in Detroit. Formulated in Detroit. Not that American made means everything to everybody, but I kind of like to buy American made products. Let's see here. Formulated in America. So I don't know where it's made actually, but the American flag, Detroit, makes me believe it's American made. So there we go. Anyway, not a buzzkill or not a deal breaker. If it's not, right? Many of you don't care. Let's check it out. See what you get in the old kitage. Some gloves. I believe these are, I think these are vinyl. They feel vinyl-ish. Nevertheless, they come in the kit. That's cool. All right. Get some low pile Nano Magic microfiber towels, rags. That's cool, two of them. Gloves. Microfiberage. A squeegee. Oh, this is, <laughs> that's a, oh, I see, I see. Okay. You pull, oh, dude, come on. The way they made this is crazy. It comes, well, you saw it kind of in the short version, but it slides out and you break it. Don't pull too hard. There you go. And then it pivots up. What the fuck? She's a little, that is cool. A little corny, but I love it, man. Everything you need in this little box. That is awesome. Gives you a scan code or barcode. That's not a barcode. That's, yeah, what do you call those? Yeah, scan code, whatever they're called. This is the solution. Bottle two. They're even numbered. We're crying out loud. Just follow the steps. This is actually the easiest windshield coating I've ever seen. Bonus offer here. We ain't even gonna embarrass myself again trying to read. I need my cheaters. And then down in here is, I think, glass cleaner. This is the prep for the windshield. Yep. Nano Magic Streak Free Windshield Glass Cleaner. So, what originally caught my eye with this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I'm one of those nerdy guys, and my wife mocks me and <laughs> gives me a lot of lip service over it, is marketing. The packaging, marketing, all that stuff. Sometimes being patriotic, sometimes it's just eye-catching. Everything like 
The bottling is, is purple. It's not purple solution. The bottle's purple. Good package, nice color, which actually purple and yellow go very good together. I've been guilty of buying another product that's yellow and purple because the packaging caught my eye. Not even going to lie to you. So the way they tell you on the video, which I will link in my video, because this one's just probably a little lengthy and a little boring. Um, you use your uh, glass cleaner with a towel, clean the surface. I mean, you don't have to get crazy about it. Just do what they say. Clean it, dry it, you know. Then you're going to apply this actually onto the squeegee. Well, not the squeegee, but the scrub part, the foam. The bug scrubber part. This is actually the applicator for this product. Put it on there. Spread it around. They say wait one to two minutes. I can't see it lasting one to two minutes. Um, still a little warm in California, but I'll watch it. And then all you do with this one, believe it or not, is squeegee it off. Then when you're done with the windshield, you go back and clean it again with their glass cleaner microfibers. So let me see if I can get you guys set up here. The little red rocket was washed just 20 minutes ago. And you won't uh, be looking at my face, which is a good thing. I don't think y'all want to really see my faceage. You know what? I hate facing out of the garage because of the light. It's bad video. I'm going to try to rock you down a little bit. Close that gap on the light a little bit. Hopefully this isn't a horrible video. Gosh darn it. If I edited, a lot of this garbage would be a non-issue. But lucky for you to get to see my midsection over there because I'm going to go on the other side, the driver's side. You are currently placed at the front passenger wheel. Let's go across town, so to speak. <laughs> All right. Let's go across town and do this. Shop manager's crying to get out here. He hears me. Okay, mom, daddy. Let's get these out. It's probably a good idea to get everything prepped before you start the video, but I wanted to do all this just on the uh, camera, right? Absolutely. These are like super mega, not going to rip for you, boot tops packaging. And remember, kids, always use your teeth to open things. Make your dentist and mama real happy. Really the dentist, not mama. I'm kidding, don't do that. Bad for your teeth. Might be bad for your butt talks too. Mama and daddy like to crap that whip. Could hurt. All right. I'm gonna leave the squahegi there. This is the coating. Not real offensive, very minor odor. All right, lift up your windshield. Wiper, windshield. Yeah, lift up your windshield. Easy peasy like this. This is all they say to do on their video. And I'm gonna to try to put it in my description section so you can watch yours. Theirs has all kinds of cool editing. 36 seconds better than this 10 minute one. I have no doubt. Ba -da -da -da. That is a good fragrance. Not chemical, not offensive. Smells Kind of like soap or something. I don't know what that is. Berry? I don't know. Not bad though. Lippage. And then I can update you guys. Just remind me in the uh, comments in future videos to give you an update on this. Because as my wife drives it, believe me, I will not have to solicit her for updates. If it's not good, she will tell me. You can take that to the bank. As I say, all right guys, so squeegee and scrubber, bug scrubber. Uh-oh, uh-oh, woo, I'm glad I looked down right there. Make sure the little stopper didn't come out of your bottle like mine did. Woo, that would have been ugly. Okay, so the dauber, okay guys, gonna be a little dead air here. I gotta get that dauber out of there. It's like a little metering tip. I don't want to put too much on. Break into the toolboxage. See if I can get this out. All right, well, don't screw the cap down too tight. That's a... Uh,
You know what? I think I dropped it. That's the molded cap right here. There is no little dropper cap in there. I'm glad I did this though live because now you guys will know. When you get it, you may have seen me do it on the video. Um, kind of tighten the lid down so it wouldn't spill when I laid this down. Could have swore there was a little metering cap in there. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just seeing things, you know, those old eyes I was talking about. This is not the way to do it, but this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna pour it on like that. I know there's a little dropper tip that came with this. I'm almost positive. I would not bet my life on it though. Put that in the pocket. See if there's enough on here. Oh yeah, what's going on? It's too dry though. Oh yeah, that's not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So you're definitely gonna wanna put a lot on this uh, bug scrubber. It's not wet enough. Even without the little dropper cap in here, it's not wet enough. Pouring it on like this. I hope you guys can see this. Gonna have to get it good and wet. Okay. Don't be afraid to use this stuff. That's what I will say. Just based on what I saw. This one last squeegee off now. This isn't gonna squeegee off. It's not enough on here. There's no way. This is actually... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to buff this off. I don't think this will squeegee off, guys. This is very, actually I'm concerned at the moment. Concerned. I'm gonna do a cross hatch. It doesn't say to do that, but I am. It says give it a minute or two. Based on what I'm seeing here, I'm not giving it a minute or two. I'm gonna do it the dug way here. I'm just gonna uh -huh. try to get this off my windshield. Because right now it's hazed up. I see a lot of um, kind of trails in the glass. I know it didn't scratch the glass, but no, it didn't. Actually, it's kind of wet. It's kind of really wet, I guess. Looks are deceiving. Hmm. I don't like the tracks that it's putting in there. Hopefully this all comes clean and I don't have any smearing or any trails or high spots, low spots when it dries, right? Anyway, let's give this about 30 seconds. Honestly, I'm kind of nervous on it. Just kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I like doing some things live and no editing, right? You get the real feel of what I'm thinking. So in here, you probably can't see it. In here, it's kind of hazing up here where I've got a lot, where I squeeze down. It's kind of got beads. So this is obviously over applied. And this may be under applied. And it's kind of wiping nicely, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. One minute. One minute. I must have find that dropper tip. It's kind of concerning. Anyway, let's squeegee and see what's up. Well, it comes up pretty clean. Okay. Skips a little bit. Maybe it's not wet enough. Say so it says the squeegee. Squeegee. And then use the glass cleaner, I believe it says next. Squeegee. Buff with the glass cleaner. So yeah, let's try that. See what happens. See how that looks when we're done. And then water behavior, we'll have to do a short or something on that next week. Because I'm pretty sure I'll have to let this cure. At least a couple hours, at least. Okay. So it looks like it's coming off clean. No concerns. I was a little concerned there. I ain't gonna lie to you, I was a little concerned. It buffs clean though. A little smeary right now. I don't know if I didn't wait long enough. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll give you plenty of rags, towels. I'm gonna grab some of my own, buff again and see what happens. All right. 
One thing to note too on, on glass, it's semi, well not semi, it's porous. So there's a bajillion little pits in here. So anything like this you can put on your glass actually makes your vision better and clearer. And it will help fend off snow, rain, bug guts, bird poo. And you'll know right away if it's worth the money you spent on it. First time you get some bug guts on it or some bird poo on it. Should come off relatively easy. A lot easier than just bare glass. All right. Well, I mean, super simple, guys. I was a little concerned, I ain't gonna lie. A little worried. I've never had one kind of smear like that, leave trails like that one. Takes just a little bit of work. But right now it looks clean. A little smear here. If you get some smearing, just get another dry rag. It doesn't have to be their rag. It's nice that they sent them, but it doesn't have to be their rag, right? So those will work. Obviously, I did something wrong here. They'll, they'll look at this video and probably email me or text me some errors. Maybe some of you pros out there, if you see this video, will comment. And I'm fine with that. Just a hobbyist having fun, liking to try products, put out stuff. And as Griot's Garage marketed, have fun in your garage. Right? That's the main thing. So you guys aren't going to be able to see this. <laughs> I don't think it looks any different than just clean, clear glass. So next week I'll do a short on this. Or maybe I'll just do some wetting of the windshield. Do some before and after pictures. I'll leave that side untreated. Hopefully I remember to retreat that side. Because believe me, my wife will tell me something. Especially if one side kind of sheds the water and the other side doesn't. Could get in a little bit of trouble. A little bit. Anyway, that's it guys. So the Nano Magic Force Shield Windshield Kit. And they sell a bunch of stuff. Check out their website. Hopefully you have discipline on what you buy because when I went on there, it's like, man, I want to try everything. Just see what it's all about. Yeah, Nano Magic Force Field Windshield Protection Kit. The Magic Kit. I'll leave the website in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time.